Hey everyone, how's it going? Dylan Gowan here. Welcome back to another installment of Overkill Reviews, Banger TV's weekly heavy metal review show. I am back at my practice space giving you guys another prog. Uh, wait a second. Actually, I'm not reviewing a prog band today. In fact, I'm going to be talking about a power metal band. It's a new special album by Powerwolf called Interludium, out today through Napalm Records. Powerwolf are a German power metal band that formed in 2003 by brothers Matthew and Charles Greywolf. The band is known for their unique blend of power metal incorporating elements of symphonic and traditional heavy metal within their songwriting, as well as their elaborate theatrical live performance. Since their inception, Powerwolf have released nine studio albums, including their debut Return in Blood Red in 2005, which established them as a rising force within the metal scene. And they achieved their first chart success with their fourth album, Blood of the Saints. Over the years, Powerwolf have become known for their elaborate stage shows, which feature crazy costumes, gothic imagery, and religious iconography. And now, I must admit, I've only really listened to a handful of Powerwolf songs, so perhaps this release is a perfect one to tackle first, because it covers six new songs and six fairly recent ones that are old rarities from older uh, tour EPs and singles. <laughs> Hey everyone, Future Dylan here. Just wanted to make a quick correction. It's actually four old songs instead of six. So if I said six old songs in the um, in the review anytime, uh, I meant to say four. We all cool with the correction? Cool. Let's continue with the video. So my question going into this album review is, does this serve as a good introduction into Powerwolf and how do the new songs on this release compare to the old ones? Well, let's get into the review. I guess you could say that this is a prog musician's take on the latest Powerwolf release. Powerwolf's music is often described as bombastic and for good reason. Their songs are characterized by the grandiose arrangements that feature powerful guitar riffs, thunderous drumming, and soaring orchestrations. This creates an epic atmosphere that perfectly is blended with the band's theatrical presentation. And Powerwolf are able to accomplish all of this with the majority of the new songs on this release leaving a lasting impact. The opening track, Wolves of War, is one that immediately comes to mind and it just commands your attention. It highlights all the strong components of Powerwolf songwriting. It's a great mid-tempo song and that made me want to invest in this album when I first listened to it. My Will Be Done, that is by far the best song on this album. It has such high energy and intensity and always builds towards something that's really impactful and memorable. And plus the chorus is damn good and shouldn't be ignored. You have to check this out. Preaching my will be done. Plus the breakdown on the bridge is a good addition. It doesn't lose any steam and it leads up into a great solo. And there's lots of great dynamics on this track. And it's one of those songs that just makes me want to listen to more Powerwolf. One thing that is undeniable about the songs of Powerwolf is that they're able to craft very catchy and memorable sounding choruses that stick in your head. Each song on this release is designed to get you pumped up and singing along, and that's particularly evident within the new song, Altars on Fire, that has a bit of a folk metal vibe to it. It's a really fun, uplifting song, and it's a really welcome addition into Interludium. In terms of the more older songs, I would say Midnight Madonna is one that stands out amongst the rest of the pack. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, but the riffs are really catchy. It's a really killer song. In terms of the older material, this is the strongest song. I guess you could say this one kind of stands out amongst the pack. Get it? Because it's wolves, they're in packs, and it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. Throughout this release, the band's individual performances on these songs are really strong, but the lead vocalist, Attila Dorn, is the star of the show. His operatic voice really adds an extra layer of drama to these songs, and his powerful voice is really suited for the grandiose arrangements of Powerwolf, and his ability to convey emotion within his singing is truly impressive. I think his voice really shines in the faster songs, but one song in particular that really stands out is Sainted by the Storm. It's like a festival song. It's really like 
uplifting and it's just an overall fun song to listen to. But this part is freaking awesome. Check this out. So those are all the things I do like about Power Wolf, but there is some things that I'm not particularly a fan of when it comes to the band itself. While I do think the songs are good overall, they're a bit too safe at times where I don't think they should be. No Prayer at Midnight has some strong parts, like the verses are really good, and I get why the simplicity of it made it the single for this release. But it just felt like there was only just good parts that were throughout the whole song, but there was nothing that was tying them all together to get, make it from a good song to a great song. And the chorus that it leads up to, it doesn't really have that same impact as My Will Be Done because it just seems like it's very flat, which is weird because they're known for having really good sounding choruses and really epic and there's supposed to be this like sense of overdrama to it, but it just kind of falls short with that song. Wolfborn is a decent song. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's just filled with ideas that I've heard countless times. It's just, it's got this heavy Celtic influence that's embedded in it. And I've just kind of been maybe a little ear fatigued from hearing that uh, the last little while. And this kind of sounds like more of a Sabaton song than a Power Wolf song. And I had to check constantly to make sure that this wasn't a cover. I think the more simplistic style of the band is better suited for more of the fast songs because they seem to be able to build into something that's really impactful and it just suits the band better. And I think they hold themselves back from wanting to try something a little unorthodox. It felt like there were some songs that were a little bit too similar to others. Stronger Than the Sacrament, I think is a good song, but it just sounds like an unpolished version of My Will Be Done. <laughs> This point is both a positive and a negative one. What's very apparent on this release is that the first half is significantly stronger than the second half, which is great in terms of the band's progression and growth, that they're getting better with every release, which is ultimately what every band wants. However, just judging this as an introduction to Power Wolf, it just felt like the two halves, there's a stark difference between the two. The newer songs are so much better than the old ones, and it kind of feels like the older ones were kind of thrown in just for the sake of time or just kind of they were there lying around, so they might as well just throw them in and then just call it a different release. Maybe that's just me because I didn't follow Power Wolf from the get-go, and maybe I don't have as much of appreciation for those songs that I would have if I listened to this band and became a fan of them uh, early on in their career. I would rather have this be an EP of newer songs. That's just my own opinion. But overall, the newer songs are really good, and I'm, I am looking forward to hearing where they take these new songs into the next release. Overall, this is a solid release by the band, and it's a good introduction for people like myself who've heard of Power Wolf, but maybe only listened to a handful of songs and never really listened to a full release. This is a band I'd be curious to see live because a lot of the stuff that I mentioned within this review, I think may be better translated live than there would be in the studio. And who knows, maybe seeing them live, that would maybe make me cross over into being a fan. Uh, but for now, I still think that they are, they're a good band. They have a ton of potential. They've had a potential from the get-go and they're just getting better with every release. That's a huge advantage to a band like Power Wolf. But for me as a new listener, I'd say that the older songs are more like a three out of five and the newer songs are more like a four out of five. So Interludium, I'm just gonna meet in the middle and I'm gonna give this a three and a half out of five skulls on Overkill Reviews. All right, it's time for some shout outs. Here are some other albums that came out today that you should definitely check out. First up, I would recommend Crown Lands with their new album Fearless, which comes out on Spine Farm Records. Awesome hard rock band from Oshawa, Ontario. They're fantastic. You should definitely check them out when you get the chance because they are a killer rock band. Next up, I would recommend Vas Katsi Honest with their new album Cynical Silence, which comes out on Symmetric Records. And this album comes out in a couple weeks, but Definitely deserves a shout out because it sounds like it's going to be a freaking killer record and I'm very excited to listen to it. Angus McSix and The Sword of Power, which comes out on Napalm Records. And if you're a fan of Power Wolf, I would highly recommend checking out these three records. 
First up, I would recommend Seven Kingdoms The Fire Is Mine, which came out on Nightmare Records. Next up, I would recommend Lords of the Trident with their latest release, The Offering, which is an independent release. And finally, I would recommend Emerald Seas by Seven Spires, which came out on Frontiers Music. So that'll be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out our ongoing Patreon campaign. Be sure to check out all the other reviews that we have on the channel. Be sure to partake in our brand new trivia show, Metalheads. There's a link in the description. So if you want to test your metal knowledge, be sure to click the link. And who knows, you might be picked for the show. Uh, there might be a couple of random prog metal or death metal uh, questions that are thrown in. So if you think you've got what it takes, then be sure to check out the link below and answer all the questions that we have in the link. Cheers, take care, and I'll be back to talk about a prog band soon. God, I was never really good at these endings, but I'm getting better, I think. Oh, no.